Printing the all of you boom house is harmless to always accompany you and watching news bulletin on 22 hours channel. Our bulletin provides the latest in and most accurate news about the social order and security situation, as well as the latest information news 22 hours chat that has occurred during the day. Now, let's take a look at the main information for today. Dear valued audience, floods are currently ravaging mainland China, with recent severe weather affecting regions such as Tuangte and Honam. Nearly 100,000 people have been impacted, and over 10,000 individuals have been forced to evacuate to safer location. Amidst these floods, a car was swept away into a river, and a couple was fortunately rescued. Due to heavy rainfall, the town of Namtring in Tuzhuayan has experienced serious flooding. According to reports from the official media outlets of the People's Republic of China, from 8 am yesterday to 8 am today, six small and medium-sized rivers, including the Thantrong River, a tributary of the Ingozhong River in Kuaichou, the Tonk River, a tributary of the Zichtu River in Kuaichou, Vannam, the Baktu Stream, the Haktu and River, a branch of the Jialin River in Trinkan, have experienced high water levels. In another report, from 8 p.m. yesterday to this morning, due to heavy rain, the Jialing River and Han River in the Duongtu River Basin, the main streams of the upper basin of the Hongha and Dao Rivers, the Wei River, and the Engilak River, as well as other main and tributary streams like the Ru River, are at risk of flooding. Some small and medium-sized rivers within the storm-affected area may exceed warning levels. Today, another flood has struck Tamman Hain Hanam, overflowing roads and inundating villages and towns. A couple was swept away by flood waters while driving, and they became trapped on the roof of their car. It is known that they had just gotten engaged that day, and the young man was driving the woman to get ready for their engagement. When their car crossed a waterway, it was swept downstream, leaving them stranded. Thankfully, both were rescued safely. According to reports from China's official media, Tuangte and Honam provinces have been hit by recent heavy rainfall and floods. As of 7 p.m. yesterday, 95,399 people have been affected by this disaster, 4,256 individuals have been urgently relocated, and 10,095 people have been evacuated to safer location. Over 100 hectares of local riverside farmland have been submerged. Local residents mentioned that they have lived in this small town for over 20 years and have never witnessed such a severe flood. However, the official media outlets of the People's Republic of China have not provided casualty figures resulting from the floods. According to another report, from 8 p.m. yesterday to 2 p.m. today, the daily rainfall in Baokin District, Western Honam, reached 314.5 mm surpassing the historical extreme value recorded since meteorological data has been available since 1961. Daily rainfall in Rangio, Kochuang District, also reached 288.8 mm. A video shared by internet users depicts a heavy downpour and flooding occurring in Tuangte, Honam, with houses submerged, roads turned into fast-flowing rivers, some people swept away, and a considerable number of cars being carried away by the floodwaters. According to reports from the official media outlets of the People's Republic of China, from 10 p.m. the day before yesterday to 10 a.m. yesterday, a stormy rain event occurred in Namsan. The heaviest rainfall was recorded in Shigi Town, Kalbin District, Namsan City, reaching a maximum of 197.4. The highest hourly rainfall was recorded at 65.7 mm in Longlin Town, Jialin District. The heavy rainfall caused the water level in rivers to rise, particularly at the Lacte Hamajia station in Kalbin district, where the water level difference could range from 3.5 to 4.5 meters, surpassing the warning level by about 1 meter. A video shared by internet users showed that yesterday, Namsung City in Tuzhuayan province experienced widespread heavy rain, causing the river water level to rise and leading to severe flooding in the town. Prior to this, a rare heavy rainfall event hit the urban area of Shanghai, resulting in significant flooding. Streets turned into rivers, and driving became akin to navigating a boat. Even the convention center was submerged in water. According to reports from the official media outlets of the People's Republic of China, during the peak hours of Wednesday evening last week, 
the central area of Shanghai experienced heavy rain. The Shanghai Flood Control Headquarters issued a yellow alert for rainstorms, a yellow alert for thunderstorms, a blue alert for strong winds, and a yellow alert for gales. Dong Street, Tungjong, and other districts issued an orange alert for rainstorms. According to reports, from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Wednesday, Tanhong Street in Minhang had the highest total rainfall of 178.7 mm, and the highest hourly rainfall occurred in Wangan High Street in the city center, reaching 125 point form. A video shared by an internet user depicted the Shanghai Exhibition and Convention Center submerged in a sea of water, coinciding with the hosting of the large-scale Billy Billy comic exhibition at that time. Shanghai residents shared their experiences of driving in the water. This afternoon, unexpectedly, there was heavy rain at sea, and many sections of the road were flooded. I hurriedly drove through several deep water sections on my way home. When I got home, I was stunned. The license plate in front of my car was gone. It's been a long time, I wonder if the license plate loss website is still available online. I went back to the online community and said that I was the third person to lose a license plate today. Many areas in Shanghai were flooded, and driving was likened to rowing a boat. Car audio recordings showed that driving was similar to rowing a boat. Many parts of the urban area were submerged, and streets turned into rivers. Your valued audience, China is facing Super Typhoon Doksuri. The China Meteorological Administration has raised the emergency response level for Typhoon Doksuri to level I, the highest level, as it intensified into a super typhoon. According to the China National Meteorological Center, Doksuri could be the strongest typhoon to make landfall in Fujian province since 2017 and the most powerful typhoon to affect the eastern region of Guangdong province in nearly a decade. It is expected that the typhoon will make landfall this morning, penetrating inland and moving northward, with the greatest impact on provinces such as Fukin, Kuangong, Chaijiang, Jiangtai, and Hai, Sunong, Habiasi, Thintan, and the capital city Biasi Kin. The meteorological agency is urging local authorities in provinces like Fakin, Kuangong, Chaijiang, and Jiangtai to raise their emergency response levels based on the situation, coordinating with relevant agencies to guide residents in avoiding natural disasters and reducing risks. Taiwan, Fakin, and Chaijiang have already experienced heavy downpours since yesterday, with the possibility of rainfall reaching to 50 minus 400 mm in certain areas of Taiwan. To prepare, the southern region of Taiwan has closed businesses and schools since yesterday. More than 100 flights within and outside the island and ferry services have been cancelled or postponed, while the railway connecting southern and eastern Taiwan has been suspended. Nearly 6,000 people, primarily residents in the southern mountainous region of Taiwan, have been evacuated. On the same day, the storm temporarily caused power outages for 49,000 households. Meanwhile, Around 20 high-speed ferry services between the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region China and mainland China have been suspended today and tomorrow. The Guangdong province has also suspended or adjusted railway operations from Wednesday to today, with train stations hurriedly preparing sandbags, water pumps, etc. to combat flooding. The China National Meteorological Center has also issued recommendations, urging the suspension of outdoor gatherings, hazardous outdoor activities, and urging prompt evacuation of residents living in less sturdy houses. Super Typhoon Dog Suri made landfall in the southeastern coastal provinces of China yesterday morning, causing dozens of injuries and significant economic damage. Super Typhoon Dog Suri made landfall in Tanjong City, Fukin Province, at 9.55 rem, with wind speeds reaching up to 180 km per hour. Super Typhoon Doksuri is the strongest typhoon to make landfall in mainland China this year. This is the second powerful typhoon to hit Fukin in several years, following Typhoon Morani that caused at least 11 fatalities in 2016. Fukin province has raised its highest alert level, leading to the suspension of flights and ferry services. Railway services in Haman, Chuangxiao, and Tianxiao have also been temporarily halted. According to videos on Chinese social media, Strong winds have uprooted trees and roofs in some cities. In the morning, Haman experienced heavy rain and strong winds. The wind is very strong, a resident of Haman wrote on the internet. China News Service reported that the typhoon has forced businesses, 
factories, schools, and tourist sites to close, and has also led to the evacuation of 416,800 people in Fukin province. The Flood Control Agency of Tianxiao City stated that 114 people were injured in the typhoon at 1.30 p.m., and over 500,000 households experienced power cuts. The government has received 1,132 emergency calls and dispatched 287 teams to repair infrastructure and assist residents trapped by landslides and flooding. Passenger and fishing boats have also been recalled to ports in some coastal areas of Chaijiang province. As of now, there have been no reported fatalities in China, but Super Typhoon Dog Suri claimed at least 26 lives in the Philippines after an overloaded ferry capsized in strong winds the day before. Furthermore, at least 13 other people have died due to the impact of the storm in the Philippines. Typhoon Dog Suri is expected to move northwestward after making landfall and gradually weaken, bringing heavy rain to 10 provinces along the eastern coast of China in the coming days. The amount of rainfall in Habiasi, Biasi Kin, Tintan, Hanam, and other areas is substantial, and the risk of disaster is very high. People need to be more attentive, vigilant, and stay away from hazardous areas, according to the China Meteorological Administration. Typhoon Dok Suri is forecasted to enter Zhangte province on Saturday. Prior to this, Typhoon Kana had intensified and is predicted to reach typhoon strength later this weekend. Tan Hoexer reported today that since yesterday, the western area of Trincan has experienced heavy rain, with 12 rivers experiencing flooding above warning levels. Today, heavy rain continues in some areas of Trincan and Dengok BAC, Bonam, Sabinbar, and other places continue to issue warnings of heavy rain. The hydrometeorological station in Trincan indicated that from 8 am the day before to 8 am yesterday, there was heavy and localized rainfall in the western part of Trincan. Rainfall occurred in 13 districts and counties, including Sabinbar, Kulong Fa, and BAC Boy in Trincan, and heavy rain occurred in the Aita district. The highest daily rainfall occurred in Hufuang village, Fayet Sun Town, Aiduk, at 256.0. Affected by the rainfall, 12 rivers including the Quinjong River, Fuxing River, Wangbar River, Taibar River in Tongnam district, Hoainian River, Tiu and River in Thonglulong district, Binam River, Vinte River, Kaothang River in Isu district, and My Sun River in Bitch Sun District have exceeded the warning level. As of 8 am yesterday, the water levels of the aforementioned rivers have exceeded the safe warning level. 46 small and medium sized rivers, including the Holong River and Longai River in Tongnam District, are flooded at depths of 1 to 7 meters, with the highest water level not exceeding the warning level. At 8 am yesterday, the water level at the Kunton station on the Duongtu River reached 167.97 meters and was rising. The water level at the BAC Boy station on the Jiling River reached 182.93 meters and was rising. Estimated from 8 am yesterday to 8 am today, various levels of flooding may occur in the small and medium-sized rivers in the western part of Trincan. Some rivers may exceed the warning water level, while others may surpass the guaranteed water level. Our news update for today ends here. If you have any contributions, please leave them in the comments section. If you find this informative, please give us a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your attention, and we'll see you again. We sincerely thank you all for your attention and viewership. Please like, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell the, to receive the busted and most accurate news update from 22 hour channel. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.